Look at this flag. Could you imagine what 1% of this flag is? Imagine if you cut this flag into 100 pieces. How much would 1% be? Probably just one little star with a rectangle around it. Now take that 1% and visualize how much it is on this flag. That's us in the so-called Middle Earth. The Earth is a flat, finite realm. Sometime, probably about 200 years ago, Gog and Magog invaded. Or you could just call them Gog or Magog, whatever you want. But basically, on the flat, finite Earth realm, we're just 1% of the population. The other 99% lives beyond the Antarctic ring. And we're just one little star on this entire flag. Whoever controls that star controls the rest of the population because the other 99% beyond the Antarctic ring are only cannibals. They don't have vegetables. They don't have fruits. They don't have trees. They don't have animals. They don't have really much plants. They're just in a desert wasteland Mad Max type situation where they all cannibalize each other. Now, this has something to do with DNA and androchrome. And it's not just a, a form of eating, but it's also a form of getting high. It's like a drug to the cannibals. And so they need us to be in a state where we're constantly stressed out. So we have more androchrome. That's why they don't outright, you know, let us know that we're enslaved. But they keep us in a state of constant stress. So the meat is nice and tender, but has a lot of androchrome. So they give us a co nice comfy life, but a lot of stress involved. So we have more androchrome. And that way, when the other 99% of the population eats us, um, you know, they get higher. Which is why the government gives us weaponized food, because we are the weaponized food for the other 99%. And I believe Leviticus in the Bible speaks of the minor invasion of Gog and Magog that will happen b before the major invasion. The major invasion is uh, one of the top 10 signs of the end of times. It's mentioned in the Quran, the Alexander Romances, the Bible, the, the Torah, even the Hindu scriptures. Um, well, anyways, my point is that the reason our government is cannibals, they weaponize women food, family, break up the children is because they are a branch of Gog or Magog and Magog. And yes, come in, come in. And that's, that's why they act like that. We're just chicken nuggets on the chicken nugget farm. Chime in. It's prophesized in the end of times that there will be two invasions of Gog and Magog. And we are it definitely um, just through autodidactic reasoning and observation and studying, um, we are enslaved, and we are enslaved in a very um, a way of, of cannibalism and um, brutality and destruction. And the Yajuj and Majuj are like tree cutting down cannibal, crazy um, beings. And right now they're pulling the strings behind the scenes on this flat earth realm, deceiving everyone. They're the real Illuminati. They're the real ones that are behind all the, the presidents and the NASA and the fake. And they want the families destroyed. They make the women married to the government and poisoning their bodies with pills so that when they die, they eat you in the grave. Yeah, why do you think there's a cemetery in every ghetto? They just wait for someone to die crawl down seven feet in a tunnel, take his body out, is embalmed. That's what they do to steak and probably sell it on, you know, over to Gog and Magog. I'm sure they clone us to the better meat, cuts of meat and stuff. And the reason the government pushes like uh, agendas on us, like right now they're doing the Harry and makes it thing. Like they want all the, the wh white dudes to be dating a girl that's one quarter black. Uh, the reason they do that is because they want to make a chicken nugget that's white meat, but it's a little meatier than the, the, the rest of the chicken nuggets. You know, most of the drugs they give us are salts because they're just seasoning the meat. You know, we're like uh, Kobe beef to them. That's probably why Kobe died. You know, they would just want a little bit of beef. 
And anyways, that's my conclusion. You don't have to believe me, but um, I challenge anyone who hears this to, to come up with a better explanation. And instead of just writing off ideas and agreeing and disagreeing, like just listen to it and say, hmm, that's interesting. And really let it sit in your mind and kind of ponder upon it. You don't have to instantly write off a concept just because it doesn't fit in, in your brain, sucked down dry, you know, washed away head. Just be like, hmm, interesting, and let it sit and just, you know, ponder on it. Yeah, and all the products, all the stuff we have here is tested out thousands of years probably in advance on the outer ring. And they just uh, do stuff here to us to keep us distracted, to keep us stressed out, to boost our androchrome, and pretty much eat us when we die or kill us early and eat us if they can't wait for a meal.